How can you spend the day at Young and Eglinton and only spend $20? I'm gonna show you how. We'll start the day at La Boheme, a French bakery located at 2481 Young Street. Uh, I would love a pain or chocolat, please. Most people like coffee in the morning, but I go for a pastry with chocolate. Very good. That was delicious. Next up, art installations at the corner of Red Path and Roehampton. I, I'm not a huge art guy. So for me to like look at these and be like, oh, this is what this means to me. That's not really my jam to be perfectly honest with you. But the blue one makes me think of like weird video games and like weird movies that I would watch as a kid, right? Just like the odd stuff. Same thing with the yellow one across the street. Like this one looks like the, it's got like the, you know, like an old school toy that you would like wind up on the top. It's colorful and it captures people's attention. I mean, when we've been here, you see people stopping, pulling out their phones, taking pictures. Some gentleman just pulled up in his car and told me how ugly he thought they were, <laughs> which is, which is fair, right? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Keep walking south to Padaria Brazilian Bakery found at 5 Manor Road East. I get one of their famous cheese buns, but they have all kinds of other savory and sweet treats as well as great coffee. Uh, we had friends over last weekend and you, you see that key lime pie that's in the uh, front case there. Uh, I got one of those. It's probably one of my favorite desserts in the neighborhood. Baum de Cajun. Yes. Exactly. Okay, Baum de Cajun. Yeah. Thank you. It's for here to go. Uh, to go, please. One. Thank you. It's so good. I was here, I feel like I'm saying this a lot, I was here the other day, but I honestly was last weekend and I had both my kids with me and they needed something. So I bought them each one of these. Gone in 30 seconds. Three-year-old and a one-year-old just uh, completely inhaled. Three dollars and eighty cents plus tax. So it's about four dollars and thirty cents. Um, so I'm trying, it's like Korean uh, soybean paste. Oh yeah, okay. Right around the corner at 2109 and a half Young Street is DN DN Asian Eatery. A Korean Japanese deli offering all kinds of affordable delicious items. You can get three for 14. Um, we had some the other week. I tried the japchae, which was delicious. Um, and we had a few other things that actually aren't on their menu. They change weekly, which is kind of cool. Um, so you can get different things, different weeks, uh, depending on seasonality and all that kind of stuff. It's a, it's a very cool spot. The Young and Egg food tour continues at our last stop, immediately next door at Tacos Clandestina. Lots of taco filling options, fantastic guac and chips, and some delicious margaritas, if that's your thing. So this is a, this is a Young and Egg taco joint. It's uh, called Clandestina. Um, they have great tacos. Uh, they're five bucks each. You can get them for four dollars each on Tuesdays, Taco Tuesday. So delicious. The, the beef is moist and juicy. All the different flavors are great. You know, the pickled, the pickled cabbage and the tomato, the pico de gallo, the beef. They double wrap the taco like in a corn tortilla so that it doesn't kind of completely soak through, which is super smart. The, um, the tortilla is delicious. So it's a good spot to come for a pretty affordable, good bite to eat. Thank you so much. I just need to pay as well. 
I'm Jamie Harnish. I'm a Young and Egg Realtor with Bosley Real Estate. If you enjoyed this video, I'd ask you to share it, spread the love of our local small businesses, and tag your friend in the comments that you maybe want to do some of the outings with in the future. Mm -hmm.